My name is Sam Rodriguez. I got my fellowship in 2013, and I will be studying uh, physics at MIT. I am I'm making this transition between, so I've been studying quantum information theory. Um, I'm going to be going into um, uh, essentially looking at um, neuroscience from the point of view of like of trying to apply methods in mathematics and, and, um, and physics in order to really sort of Ideally, what, what, what we would like is, is we would like some sort of a theoretical understanding of like the design principles um, behind the brain, right? Like, you know, what, how is information transmitted and, and things like that, right? I mean, that to me is inspirational. Like, that, that is incredible. And I think that it's something which is, which is missing in a lot of the work today that, that physicists and mathematicians do when they go into biology and when they go into neuroscience, I think that people manage to do a lot of good work, but I think that real, the sense that I've gotten from talking to, to, to scientists in the field is that really there are two camps. There are the biologists who are doing the kind of biology thing, and then there are the physicists and mathematicians who are thinking about the problem in terms of physics and mathematics, but you need to join the two together. So what I would really like to do is I would really like to be able to go in and take methods from mathematics and physics and make contact with the experiment, make contact with what the biologists are doing, learn to speak their language, right, and build a bridge. Because I think that then you, there's, there's potential for fantastic progress. It's just incredible because everyone knows everyone else, which means that you have connections, right? Like, like I expect you would have connections to the, you know, the other people who are working in fields that are relevant to yours, except here, you know, it's people who are working all over the place, right? I can imagine that if I have an idea about something, or if my work, I think, has relevance to this field over here, right, that through the Hertz community, I would know where to go. Right? I would know how to find someone who was working in that area and say, oh, let's, let's look at this. Right? So you know, the fact that the Hertz Foundation, for example, sponsors so many retreats, and they sponsor the symposium, and there was the orientation. I mean, just all of these things. I don't even know how many things there are yet. Right? But there, I know that there are at least these things. And already, it's incredible. Right? I just imagined how many new projects could come out of you know, a symposium like this. It you know, must be dozens. right?